we mentioned that there isn't treatment for the virus itself, but there is treatment if you have the visible warts. Is this true? Right. So okay. um, when we talk about warts, we're usually talking about something on the outside. Um, and then now if your colposcopy comes back abnormal and you have what we call dysplasia, that's the medical mm -hmm. term for the precancerous changes in the cells of the cervix, um, that's what we really care about, that the HPV has caused these abnormal cells. So um, there's different ways to manage that. Um, since we all know it's related to HPV, we many times will give people the benefit of the doubt to clear the virus right. and then these cells can also clear so we don't rush into doing any aggressive treatment anymore it sort of also depends on the person's age right and we just monitor these people more closely that's the biggest take-home message I think here is to make sure that you go for your checkups Absolutely. You find out you have an abnormal pap smear and getting back to the frequency of the pap smear, everybody may have heard now, you don't need to go for an annual pap anymore. Um, if you've been getting a pap test with HPV after the age of 30, they say you don't need to have a pap every year. You can even go every five years. Mm -hmm. um, you still need to be going to your doctor, get checkups. But if you have an abnormal pap smear, that's, that's my take home message right. I want people to know, is you need to be going and making sure that you're being seen because that's the only way you're really gonna get into trouble here.